Welcome back to another episode of the Corecast podcast. And today we got some pretty juicy news. So uh, pretty sad, but juicy news. Um, before we start, we just want to thank Core for sponsoring the podcast and letting us do whatever we love to do every day. <laughs> jazz so, hands um, for Core. <laughs> jazz hands for Core. We just got a jazz hands for Core. All right. That so Twitter. biggest news, I, I feel like the biggest news to come out in gaming this week was uh, League, or Riot Games, letting go approximately 500 employees. Billion dollar company, by the way. Yeah, billion dollar companies uh, gets a profit every year. They they never lose money every year. By the way, just keep that in mind. What do uh, they say? Uh, reasoning. Oh well, yes, Danny. If you want to know the reasoning, the very good the reasoning, reasoning, the very very solid reasoning. So, uh, the creator of League of Legends and the CPO Mark Merrill, or he goes by Trendemir in um. In That's Twitter. what he goes by on Twitter. In Twitter, his <laughs> thing is so Trendemir, but his at is Mark Merrill. Okay, he says, "Hey y'all, I want to share computing. Uh, I want to share some important updates about League of Legends. We've made our changes to our team and have work make to make sure to keep improving the league experience now for a long term. But I want to clear up: we're not slowing down and working on the game we love. We're investing heavily in solving today's challenges faster while also building for the future." Okay, this continues on. This gets better. As part of the changes, we've made some tough decisions to eliminate some roles. This isn't about reducing headcounts to save money. It's about making sure we have the right experience so League continues to be great for another 15 years and beyond. While team's effectiveness is more important, the team's size in the League team will eventually be even larger than in today's as we develop the next phase of League. For the rioters who are laid off, we support them with the... Sen- <laughs> With severance package includes minimum of six months pay, annual bonus, job placement assistance, and healthcare coverage, and more. So, they said it. They the reason they they wanted to remove it is basically they're like, yeah, we need to revamp the the league experience because apparently league and NA is just dead. It's just like it's not getting as popular as Korea and China, and well, especially in Europe. Are you talking about so, the pro scene or like the game? Itself. Well, both. Okay, okay. Both. So, League as a whole in and North America is not doing so hot. Yeah. So their reasoning is, yeah, we're just gonna let go of th- uh, 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 like 500 employees. But the also thing is, it didn't go to League. A few Valorant people, developers, got laid off also. So Valorant's like still kind of in its like infancy. Like what the fuck? Yeah, I think they announced uh, as of uh, as of last month, they're averaging monthly 35 million players. Really? Monthly. Monthly. So, Valorant is not slowing down. It's very popular, especially in North America. Very, very popular. So, what is the reasoning behind this? Like, you first drop... You first drop off... Like, make a $500 faker skin. Then you drop off multiple skins in Valorant and in League. And what's the whole point of letting go? Because... I was reading some of the comments, and some people were also saying it's like, so you're going to lay them off and then hire new people to train them again and just start uh, rinse and repeat. Yeah. I mean, maybe part of it is if they feel the uh, game has been getting stale. Like, yeah, I'm just talking about League. Um, yeah. If they feel that, like, it's not advancing in the way, maybe it's part of that... The people that have been working on it for a long time see the game in one way, and that like maybe their thought process is like, let's get a new set of eyes on it and see if we could get some new ideas going for like how they could change it up. That's like what I like all I can really think of. But yeah, let's fire all these people and then rehire re- and then so retrain them. Like it's not a money thing, unless the other thing is unless like. People at fucking League are just fucking slacking, dude. (laughs) Like, what if there's just, like, what if there's just too many slackers at Riot? Bro, they have to cut cut off the fat of the meat. Yeah, they just had to lay him off. I don't know. Because the thing is, this is the second layoff of the year for Riot. The first one was about money, right? Yeah. that's when we were saying billion dollar company. But now this one apparently isn't about money. Yeah, so now I'm confused. It's like, 
what is your reasoning behind this? Because there's no point in like doing all this. I get it. You have like different departments. I I know for TFT and then Arcane and like other things. But what's the whole point? Like you you guys had a very successful year in both Valorant and League. I get it. Maybe not in North America, but worldwide, you guys had it because it wasn't only in North America they fired. They fired people in different. In like world yeah, company yeah, worldwide, yeah. it's not like everyone fly. at the fucking riot office in LA is gone. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's five hundred people around the but world. But the thing is, I was reading some of them, and it's like so sad because he's like, "Well, uh, I have no job now," and it's like people just looking for a job, and it's so sad because a lot of these riot employees just like straight up lost their job. Yeah, and I made a comment. I was like. Glow about high player account, drop a five hundred and a two hundred dollar skin, continues to make tens of millions of dollars, doesn't fix any of the toxic throws in game, still fires hundreds of workers. Wow. This is just amazing. Dude, what if they fired all these people and they're gonna hire like a whole team of people to just ban everybody? Like you know imagine imagine like th- it, this would be like so shitty for the people that worked before, but they're like, we're basically just bringing in all these people and they're gonna comb through chat messages and decide who stays and who goes bro that's what i'm (laughs) saying it's like what's the whole point of this shit because now it's like okay unless you're actually fixing the company and fixing league i mean i don't know if they're fixing riot of valorant also like but they're fixing league also and it's kind of insane because it, it, there's there's no point in doing all this. There's, there's no literally no point in doing all this. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Riot Games it, is a silly, silly company. Hey, maybe they might add a voice chat sooner or soon in ranked. So that's gonna be a good thing. They got they got twenty two hundred. Was it two hundred million? Yeah, two hundred million from ten cent to make another game. Yeah. So I mean, it's not a money issue, guys. It's not a money it's not issue. A billion dollar company, by the way. Billion dollar company, not a money a issue. Fifth guys, of please. a billion dollars. Yeah, another game. Just not a money issue, guys. Please, okay. <laughs> uh, another issue is uh, I another think it's a little issue. old. Another issue. Oh, Ooh. but it's a great issue. Uh, Ubisoft continues Ubisoft to build. Ubisoft is an issue. <laughs> Ubisoft is a massive issue. I think this year alone, they their stock market has went down fifty six percent this year alone. Really? That's a yeah. Lot. So ever since 2021, I believe, they were valued at $12 billion. Now they're valued at $1.9 billion. That's more than 50%, they, bro. No, but this year alone, they lost 50%. But since 2021, they've just oh, been going downhill. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. So they have just been losing more and more money. And for the sake of it, now Tencent, oh, you we're back at Tencent again. They're offered to buy majority share of the company. And they said, hey, we'll fix any issues we'll have, and we'll buy a majority share of the company. I'm good for it. I because think now it's... Be good. Because, remember, let's keep in mind, I think, wasn't they made Concord? Like, Ubisoft published Concord or made Concord? I don't even know what Concord is. Oh, you didn't hear about Concord? Okay. So, it was made by... So- I'm sorry. This was made by Sony. Okay. Wow. This was developed by Sony. Guess how much they spent on it? How much? Tiny. They spent four hundred million dollars. Okay. And it, the server shut down in thirty days. On release. That sounds like that game uh, Anthem that EA released. Like. Yes. Yes. Like that. It was supposed to be a huge game, and it was kind of like ass. So. Yeah. All the money. So now also. Yeah. And now they just can't make any games because Concord is down. Ubisoft, they can't. Oh, they came, they came out with Star Wars Outlaw, and you, we know how yeah, bad that game bro. was. I don't know how they fumbled the bag on that. You know what I think I, it is? Mm. Is Ubisoft literally makes the same fucking game over and over and over again? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Every Assassin's Creed since. Uh, I don't know. I would say, like, as- aside from, like, the uh, RPG-style ones, like, uh... Odyssey Origins and, uh, and Odyssey, Origins. Yeah, they're all, like, the same thing. Like, the story is always, like, mid. Um, The gameplay is literally the same shit. Just, like, sneak around and stab some guy in the back, and then a cutscene plays. And that's, like, the yeah. whole gameplay loop. And it's a collect-a-thon game. And, I, like, Ubisoft... 
is honestly like the reason why I don't really like single player games like that anymore. Like open world single player games. Mm. Because like they started the trend of collectathon, fill up your map with all this random bullshit. And then every single game they make is like that. So Yeah. Like I didn't play Star Wars Outlaws, but like I can't imagine it's much different. It's probably like the same Assassin's Creed gameplay loop, except you're in Star Wars and you have a gun. <laughs> like, but it was also the, I saw the combat and like just there's so many bugs with it too, mm -hmm. which I get it. Like you know, Cyberpunk they had a massive bugs on release, but they at least like pushed through and fixed all the bus uh, bugs. They made the releases. They kept coming out with updates. The DLC was a top tier game and now everyone's considered cyberpunk one of the greatest games ever but my also issue with ubisoft right i was looking at a comparison because i have played the older assassin's Creed. i played one through three i played black flag and i played uh syndicate i played i, I think i played i believe i played syndicate also and like the combat and the movement on them were very unique like each game was like a lot of fluid like me jumping through buildings like going around the buildings it was a lot of movement but in Mirage, what I was seeing, because I didn't play it, but I was seeing, is a lot of stiff movement. Like, it's the same enemy. It's like an, uh, in with previous Assassin's Creed games, even though you're, like, it going down a little bit, it doesn't feel like it's a whole animation. It feels like, okay, I'm just going to move an arm to just move a little bit down, or I'm moving to the left a little bit, or, like, jumping across. It's not like a whole animation sequence, like an automatic, automatic animation screen. It feels like it's its own thing every time. And that was the beauty of the older Assassin's Creed. Yes, people were saying it's a little boring. You're trailing someone, you're hiding, and then you yeah, kill someone. Uh, I get that. that. Like the OG ones, uh, what? That was like 2007, 2009. Yeah. Like, but they were like they actually were, they felt were like an Assassin's Creed. Yeah, they were innovative for the time. So you can't like yeah. look at Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 now and be like, oh, those games are yeah. boring. It's like, like you could improve upon it. Like you can be like, okay, maybe I could do other missions. Maybe I could add this. I could add that. Like there's other th stuff you can add. But when with this one, it was just a lot of like, like, yeah, you can make the game pretty. But if the gameplay is boring, what else do you guys have left? Like, come it, on. It's like Assassin's Creed 4 was like so peak. Like, that's such it, a good it game. It was their bet. Yeah, because and everything then, about it was yeah. good. And then like, personally, I liked Assassin's Creed Unity, even though people didn't like it that much. And it was buggy on release, but it got fixed. Mm -hmm. Um... But, like, even Assassin's Creed Unity and, like, beyond that, nothing, like, really it. improved upon the game. Like, even if every game was the same quality as Assassin's Creed 4, then you're just making Assassin's Creed 4 over and over again, you know? Like, yeah. There's a, like, there's nothing new. It's the same shit. And, yeah, so that's why every fucking Assassin's Creed gets a shitty review. No one likes their other open world games. They're usually dog shit. Um, I think the crew, that racing game series, is also by Ubisoft, and that series yeah. is dog shit. Like, I don't know. If they've just been missing. Can someone it's just, name I... me like a good Ubisoft franchise to like have a you know good game in the past like five years? Ubisoft games release. Okay, let's look at the recent games, okay? X Defiant. I mean, it's X Defiant's like it's good. Dead. X Defiant's good. I'm not gonna... Yeah, that came out in May 21st, 20, uh, 2024, which is fine. I like the game, okay? Free game. They're... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Tom Clancy, that was... I, that's like I a multiplayer. Go, I heard Ghost Recon was dog shit. Okay. Like, uh, uh what else? was dog shit. Um, Assassin's Creed Mirage wasn't very good. Uh, Far Cry 6 wasn't reviewed very well all the far cry games are also the same fucking thing no Over no hold up hold. far cry 4 was good though i ha i loved far cry, far cry 4. 4 and far cry 3 are like the same game in a different setting no 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 but they, they had a different environment like they yeah, at least yeah, changed the environment and the, the villain it's the same fucking game but with different they just interchanged yeah some things it's but nothing like after new. that after that was like Far Cry Five. I think the, the I think the one where you're like a caveman. Yeah, primal, that was that. Heard, that one primal was bad. I didn't six, play that. and then six. Like they were all like meh, like at that yeah. point. But like they Far just, Cry like, Four, milk three, franchises. like three was absolute peak. Four, okay, it was a little bit down, but you know, still very good. Everything else was shit. So that was the issue with that. Uh, like, see, that's what I'm saying. It's like they're not. Also, 
I I don't like it, but Watch Dogs was a good game. People hated on it, but Watch Dogs is a good game. It was innovative. I think it was, why people hated on it was because um, misrepresentation in trailers and stuff. Like if you remember the infamous like E3 announcement of that game, and it yeah. literally looked like a game that would have come out like today, like in terms mm-hmm. of graphics, and then the game actually. The game actually came out and it looked like a PS2 game and people were like, so you just fucking yeah. lied to us is like what you So exactly. I, I think Watch Dogs is a good game. I just think that it got such a bad rep because it was misrepresented. It was like basically exactly. false on advertising. But again, I, I think like at this point it's like if you're going down worse and worse, you can't go any worse. Like, at this point, you just spent hundreds of millions of dollars on Outlaw, and it's the one of the worst games come out this year. At this point, just sell the company. Like, you're not fixing it. The, the, the owners, they're not going to fix it. They don't care about the company. All right, sell it. Let Tencent fix it. At least they'll do somewhat of a good job. They, there's no way Tencent could do worse than what you guys did. At least. Mm-hmm. So, I would say just why not? Just take it over and then let them handle it, because... You're you're at a point where you have so many big IPs and you're just ruining the IPs for all of these comp- all of these games. Like Assassin's Creed is just it's not what it used to be. When Assassin's Creed 4 came out, it was a huge deal. Every Assassin's Creed before that, it was a massive deal. But now it's just like nobody really cares about your Ubisoft anything comes out. So I think for that, I think if Ubisoft really wants to jump back, they just sell the company. That you're, there's no way you can fix the comp- yeah. uh, You can fix the it now. The only thing they like really have going for them right now is that Rainbow Six is still played as an esport. Yeah, but, like, that's the only thing that's going. If for it them. wasn't, like, who the fuck cares about Ubisoft games? Yeah, I think Ubisoft would probably be dead. I think Rainbow Six is literally its last string. And thanks to Jinxie for literally reviving the game. Yeah, that game would have been <laughs> that game. Ubisoft as a company would have been like shut down. Oh my god. So. That's what it is. And our final news is uh, I'll be talking about Deadlock Ranked for the most part. I think Deadlock Ranked, I am very shocked people try in the game. I'm not very, I'm not used to it. Everyone in the game actually tries to win the game. Yeah. So, I my, th- my ex- yeah, no, of course, give it time. <laughs> <laughs> but with, with what I've noticed with the game is so, how they do it right is you're not, get, you play seven games of Ranked, right? And then every game after that, they calculate it. All right, where are you going to go? Where are you going to get placed? And you don't get your ranked till the next week. So how, that's how they're doing it. And there's like seven different ranks. And then you don't get a rank every year. But the only issue with it right now, it's, it's only solo queue. And I hate that it's only solo queue. Like, why can't they do solo and duos? That would have been sick. Yeah, solo or like, duo would make a lot more sense. So that like your lane partner could be um, in the call with you. Yeah, like, it, that's the only issue I have. Like, I get it. Like, I love it because people actually try in the game and then it's more intense. Like, the games are feel more intense and more, like, rewarding when you win. But it's just, like, my thing is, like, can I at least, like, let me get a duo at least. Because I have people that, I, like, I have people that I want to play with, but, like, I can't because it's only solo. Mm-hmm. And it's so sad. So I know so, a duo, like, but for the most part, I think Deadlock is a it's good rank, but they have to, it, they're taking the, it's not a bad thing. They're taking their sweet time with it, which is not a bad thing. But in the same time, I would like it just to be finished up. Hurt, like, it's just me being greedy. But I want it to finish up so I can play yeah, the game. I more. think the time frame stuff is like really weird. But I guess they do it to res- so you can't play like a thousand games of ranked before your your rank is released. Yeah, and then the, uh, the MMR is just boosted as fuck. For people who don't know, there's two different blockchains. So when you're in, at, le- at least for North America, there's not NA1 and NA2. It's just blocks. Blockchain like blocks, is a sorry. crypto thing. <laughs> crypto, yeah. There's two different blocks. There's NA1 and NA2. NA1 plays it from 1 to 4 and 7 to 10. NA2 plays from 4 to 7 and 11 till 1 a.m. So I chose block 1 because it's easier and I don't want to play till 1 a.m. But that's what I chose. And for the most part, it's been pretty good. Like, everyone's trying. Community's funny. And, like, the game overall is pretty good. I think right now it's very, very balanced. The team that Valve actually made a good game with the, like balance changes and everything, so it's been really really fun. But for the most part, I think Deadlock has a lot of ways to improve, such as um, like the ranking system and then like having a solo duo. Because I don't know if they're gonna have a solo duo, and I don't know if they're gonna add a band system. Because I know League doesn't have a band system. 
in ranked, right? If I'm not, oh no, it, it does, does, right? Okay, Except, it does. I don't think deadlock could work with the ban system because there aren't enough uh, characters. Like I think Valor that's what twenty three. Yeah, but like Valorant wouldn't work with a ban system. There's not enough people. Uh, that's League, what I'm saying. It's a different league works because there's a hundred and fifty characters. Yeah. You know, like so if ten of them are banned, there's still a hundred and forty to pick from. But we were like, my thing is like at least give us one ban. That's why some people because like sometimes I don't want to go against a bebop or I don't want to go against a mobile crowd. Do you queue in um ranked the uh, the same way that you do for quick play? Like, do you select three? people yeah before you you, you click three people and then you go into the game but you could prioritize it so for me like i'll yeah, play warden yeah. and i'll prioritize warden and then i'll have the other two like not prioritized but i'll just pick them so i'll always get warden so but that's my thing is is that we at least just at least one either add a duo uh, add like a solo duo or add like a band system that's my only thing i would add to the game again we don't know what's going to happen next week because we just got the patch notes for this week and we're not getting it for another two weeks Mm -hmm. So that's where we're gonna have to wait on that. But overall, I think Deadlock is fun. The rank system is really, really good, and for the most part, I said the game is great. Nice. And I think that's all the news we have for today. Um, thank core you guys gaming, for watching. Core gaming slash shop dot com slash shop. Go check our merchandise at coregaming.com slash shop to check out our merchandise. And yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye, <laughs> Jazz. Hands for core. <laughs> bye bye bye.